Hi, I'm Raymar B. Calyado from Suction Raiden Bank. For this video, I will perform tepid or cold sponge bath. But first, what is tepid or cold sponge bath? It is the application of cold water to the surface of the skin by means of wet sponge. And for the assessment, assess the client for other signs of fever, skin warmth, flashing complaints of heat and or chilling, diet for assessed, irritability, restlessness, general malice, or delirium. Determine patient's ability to tolerate cold sponge bath, assess baseline, baseline vital signs and any hazard to the patient's vital function with the application of cold. Observe fluid and electrolyte status, especially in patients with elevated temperature. Assess condition of skin before and after application to determine if application occurs. And for the objectives, first, to reduce body temperature by conduction and evaporation. Second, to relieve restlessness, thereby providing comfort and relaxation. General consideration. First, tap water can be used instead of cold. Second, measure of the client's temperature, pulse, and respiration to provide comparative baseline data. Third, face, neck, arms, and legs will be sponge back is optional. Fourth, chest and abdomen need to be sponge for there are no large superficial blood vessels in that area that aid the transfer of heat. The equipment used for this procedure are water source of colon, top or cold, basin for sponge bath, washcloth preferably for bath towel, large sheet ta to be utilized as bath blanket, table protector, small basin filled with ice chips. Step 1. Prepare the water to a temperature of about 29.5 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit, but add ice chips to bring the temperature down while batting the patient until the water temperature reaches about 18 degrees Celsius or 64.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 2. Prepare the client to gain cooperation. Explain that the face, neck, arms, legs, and back optional will be a sponge and that the procedure takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Protect the patient's bed with moisture-proof material to protect the linens from getting wet. Remove the gown and assess the client to a comfortable supine position. Removing the gown provides access to all skin surfaces. Cover the patient properly to prevent shivering as various parts of the body are exposed to batting. For prevention of chilling, minimal exposure, and provision of privacy. Place bath towel under the head protects the bed sheet from getting wet. Prepare several ice bags. Once ice bag is placed on the patient's head to promote comfort, others are placed in axillary areas and in the groin, where the blood vessels are close to skin surface. The, the ice bag helps to cool the patient's further. The axilla and groins contain large superficial blood vessels that aid the transfer of heat. The application of ice bag promotes color temperature of the body score by conduction. If washcloth is to be used in the axillary area or groin, wet four washcloths and fold into four parts, wring them out so that they are not very damp but not dripping. Washcloths need to be as moist as possible to be effective. Place washcloth in the axillary and groins. Leave washcloths in the place for about 5 minutes or until they feel warm, re-wet and replace them as required during the bath. Washcloths warm up relatively quickly in such vascular areas. Step 3. Immerse folded washcloths or material for sponging in basin with water. Step 4. Sponge the client's face with plain water, pat to dry, then sponge the neck. Sponging of the face and neck should be within 3 to 5 minutes. Friction or rubbing may raise body temperature.
Left five, sponge the arms and legs. Place a bath towel under one arm and sponge the arm slowly and gently for about 3 to 5 minutes or as tolerated by the client. Slow, gentle motion are indicated because firm rubbing motion increases tissue metabolism and heat production. Cold sponge given rapidly or for a short period of time tend to increase the body's heat production mechanisms by causing shivering. Cover but do not dry each part as it is sponge. Evaporation of moist on the skin helps to reduce body temperature and excessively heavy covering may increase body temperature. Do the same thing in the lower extremities. Hold the washcloth briefly over the wrist and ankle. The blood circulation is close to the skin surface, the wrist and ankle. Change water prayer and water temperature rises as a result of exposure to the patient's warm body surface. If the back portion of the patient's body is to be sponged, do this for 10 minutes optional. No presence of large superficial blood vessels in this area. The anterior chest and abdomen are usually not sponged. Step 6. Check the patient's skin color and pulse rate during the bath. If the patient becomes pale or cyanotic, or if the pulse rate increases or becomes irregular, discontinue the bath. This indicates that the temperature of the patient may have dropped or to subnormal level. Step 7. Do aftercare of equipment and change bed linens if soiled to avoid transmission of infection. Step 8. Check the patient's body temperature about 30 minutes after the bath to evaluate the effectiveness of the sponge bath. Step 9. Document assessment including the temperature recheck. Draft temperature is recorded. Graph according to agency policy. Recording communicates the care provided in an accurate and firmly fashioned.